Oh wow, so these are rider trucks? Oh no, these are these are, these are cardoons. I've, I've heard of them. The cardoon forest. Yes. So, like with artichokes, you eat the the bud, as you know. Yeah. But here, I've just to try it. I actually a couple years ago did try boiling some of these buds. Right. Just to just to see, because I if I'm going to teach about cardoon, I wanted to speak from experience. Yeah. And it's not that it's not that they're not edible. It's just. There's no food in the bud here, oh. and I, there's nothing to consume. But what you eat here are the mid ribs of the giant fronds. So oh, so you harvest you harvest yeah. these? Right. So I sort of recommend gloves to harvest. Yeah. Because there's a couple prickly spots. It's not too bad, but really, uh, you know, a nice bigger size. It's like a giant celery stalk, maybe like this or bigger. Well, here we go. This is kind of thinner, thinner than I like, but yeah, it's sort of like this. And then I would take a, a knife and okay. cut this off. And then you just have this Pages thing stalk. that looks like a big celery stalk, the midriff of the leaf, and get a wow. bundle of these. And then right. um, kind of string. It's a starchy source of starch and a source of um, yeah. minerals. Right. It's a perennial vegetable, of course, and it just comes back year after year oh, and it? produces a lot of food. And it's a thistle, isn't it? It's, in, it's in the related thistle. to artichoke. It's yeah. just yeah. you eat a different part of it. Yeah. And it's really common in northern Italian cooking, right. I've, I've learned, um, right. from some family and also volunteers here. But um, you peel the strings off. There's many ways to eat them, including um, dips, pureed soups. Um, you can chop them up, boil them, saute them in butter and garlic, put them over pasta, wow. and you know many more things. But I, lo I think cardoon is like underappreciated, um, so uh, this is why I'm effusively telling you about cardoon. Car yeah, and it just goes off, and you yeah. don't really need to do much with it. And the pollinators love, you know, when it goes bees to flower. Love it. Yeah. So it really just. And it, I guess that's it for the cardoon, but it's a strong perennial vegetable and it comes back like this every year. Every year? For, for many years. Easy food. So it's a lot of food. Easy. Like that. Yeah, yeah. That was really special to point those out because we're just aware with a wry humor of how they can cross pollinate, and then you get a sort of like in between where the art, it's still kind of an artichoke, but then there's not much food here. And we're like, well, excuse me, we didn't want you to cross pollinate. Yeah, right. But, but these are fully cardoons, and that's what happened. <laughs> They're not cordy chokes. You're right. <laughs>